Originally the concept was uh, developed by not just myself, but Sam, Miles, and Ruth Woodard, who were on the uh, committee to uh, develop the meditation garden in honor of Cheryl. And then we saw where we needed to add shrubs and plants uh, to enhance the garden. And so we had a crew of about 10 of us working. Uh, it took us uh, just one day to put it together and clean it up. And then we laid down red bark, redwood uh, mulch around it so it maintained the weeds that it rolled up. Mark Allen helped with building the deck that uh, we are overlooking the garden from. So we have a place to sit and meditate and relax. Very peaceful. It's beautiful plants, plants that have been here forever, trees that have been here forever. Joel dedicated all the lighting for the deck and the garden. The idea was to come unite the garden with the interior space, so I designed a window that had a garden and water and trees and flowers in it, and uh, I feel pretty confident that uh, I succeeded in doing that. We had Keith Norman uh, dedicate a beautiful water fountain, water feature. So the idea that I had was to have that water fountain be the source of a river that flowed through the garden. So we used rounded uh, river pebbles and traced out a meandering stream bed, a dry stream bed, to simulate uh, the rivers that flow through Egypt, the Nile, Mesopotamia, and all of the worlds are symbolic of, of life that it brings. And we worked with the existing plants and trees that were here. And this is a uh, Schiffelera. And these are uh, evergreen junipers. Uh, this is a Japanese maple, feather leaf maple. This large shrub is a viburnum. This wall was all dingy, white, grayish. Yeah. And when we had the volunteers down here, we decided if we painted the wall, it would improve it a lot. And it did. And then you've got Mama Cheryl's office right there so she can look down on us and bless our work. <laughs> <laughs>